So I wanted to show just a, a demo of what I've been working on with real virtual physics. Here I am in my uh, virtual environment and using the Vive, the hand position is tracked very precisely. And so I have this real world thing and every hundred milliseconds I'm uh, kind of taking a frame of, of that object and looking at its position. Um, and here I can look at the, uh, the position and the time that each one was, was dropped. So the idea is that I'd like to be able to then take this hand control and drop it and uh, look at acceleration of real actual gravity, not a simulation, but a real object that I'm tracking using VR technology. Um, or I can roll it down a ramp uh, just all sorts of physics things I can do using real, actual, real-life physics. Uh, but this virtual augmentation, um, there's the speed graph on the right. So the yellow, um, the yellow graph is the Y position over time. And then over in the green graph, we have speed. So we can start to get a feel for derivatives tracked in real time as you move your actual body. And of course you can grab the graphs so we can layer them and uh, see how the derivatives interact. Uh, but that, that kind of dot graph wasn't very inspiring to me. I want more kinds of representations. So I made this speed donut, which uh, basically graphs the speed just like the, um, just like the graph made out of little points. Um, one strategy to try and get high speed is to just wave your hand very fast back and forth, but quickly you realize, oh, but you have to stop every time you change your hand direction. Uh, so a better strategy is to wave your arms in circles. So I like that you get this real-time feedback that allows you to truly experiment with how motion works and how representations of motion work and how graphs of things over time work, whether it's um, position, such as the yellow Y position graph, or speed, and um, obviously the next thing to do is get some more representations in there, get an acceleration graph, and play with things like uh, how often it's tracked, although I might need to get it to run faster if I want to track more, more often than I'm tracking right now. So there's some technical things to be solved as well. Um, but part of the funnest part is, is getting the different representations in there that you can play with, because one of the really important things about mathematics is the ability to abstract through different representations instead of getting stuck in the idea of there's one kind of graph that is x is time and y is uh, position or, or some other variable and that everything always looks the same but when we have different representations like this pink um, this pink speed donut uh, it, it lets us think about it differently instead of getting stuck in the things that don't matter like the normal conventions of how we graph stuff at the moment, I'm just kind of filling up the virtual space with different toys that I can play with and kind of see what sticks and what feels powerful, such as this speed donut, which I really love. I love this speed donut. Uh, and the first time I picked it up and realized, hey, I can turn it upside down. And, you know, now the direction things are represented is different. But yeah, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit here. So hopefully I'll have a lot more stuff for this soon.